I can't believe how long I used oil paints before I knew this. But when you leave your oil painting jar to sit, the solvent and the paint sludge separate and you can just reuse and pour out that solvent and then actually reconstitute the paint sludge as new paint. I'm gonna take you through the steps to make this paint and it's way easier than you think. Just note that I collect this sludge up in jars over time, that way I can make the new paint in one big batch. Using a palette knife, I scoop the sludge out onto a glass palette, or in this case, a glass cutting board. Then I'll actually leave it sitting out in the air for a while, that way some of the solvent that's still there will evaporate out and you won't get such runny paint. After mixing it a bit with a palette knife, you're gonna wanna add a little bit of oil paint medium. In this case, I used refined linseed oil. Then mix it up again with a palette knife. Next, using a molar, grind the mixture for a while in a circular motion. No amount is too much because the longer you mix, the more smooth your new paint will be. Now, if like me, you don't have an actual oil paint molar, you can use any glass object with a flat bottom. I actually used the glass jar from a recycled bath and body candle in two sizes and it worked perfectly. Now this stage could take a little while. Basically, you wanna keep going until you get rid of those bits and you have a mixture you'd be happy to use as paint. So now you've made your own oil paint and you're gonna wanna tube it up. I got these empty aluminum paint tubes off of Amazon, but you can also get them online from many art supply stores. So using a palette knife, scoop up this paint into the empty tube, leaving about an inch at the top. Just keep in mind this stage may get a bit messy. So using pliers, just crimp the end of that tube closed. Now something I like to do is just take a scrap piece of paper and then taking a little bit of this leftover paint, paint the paper so that you can tape it around the tube and you'll know just by glancing at it what color is inside because obviously each time you do this, you're gonna get a unique color. So you're never gonna get a pure or bright color because your paint sludge is inherently very muddy, but often it does become a really useful and beautiful neutral gray or brown. So I like to also label the tubes and just give them a name. You can get creative and call it whatever you want, but I call mine Torrit Gray. That's the name that Gamblin gives to the paint color that it sells as a result of combining the recycled paint from its factory. So it's also the name I just give this recycled paint sludge paint in my head. So beyond the beautiful color that you get, I just love being able to recycle everything that I paint with. 